It's a major blow on the Texas bar industry with a dramatic rise in COVID-19 cases. Governor Greg Abbott ordering all bars to close as of Friday. Let's get right to it. The governor's executive order shutting down bar operations in an effort to curb the spread of COVID-19 now has owners, their attorneys, and advocates like Dallas salon owner Shelly Luther speaking out. Closing down bars? is not the solution. Luther made national headlines back in April after refusing to close her salon when it was deemed a non-essential business. And she was sentenced to seven days in jail for violating a court order. Governor Abbott and other state officials rushed to Luther's aid back then. Here's the thing. All of us that want businesses open, we're fighting for freedom. We're fighting for liberty. Luther says she's now speaking with hundreds of bar owners and small businesses across Texas, among them the owners of Harris's House of Heroes. The state recently suspended its permit for allegedly violating COVID-19 reopening requirements. Why is the governor uh, closing bars? Attorney Billy Clark says his client's bar was working with the TABC to open Friday. The governor's order was a surprise. What makes a bar uh, that serves 51% alcohol, any difference from a restaurant that does 50%. Um, there's really no difference. Luther says bar owners are telling her they're willing to do whatever is needed to fight back against Abbott's order. First, I can empathize with the frustration. Luther says even if it means peacefully protesting and opening their businesses. Does it sound like the governor's backtracking on some of the same rationale that uh, we heard when he came to back for you? Absolutely. I think he's totally backtracking. Um, if he is saying that he didn't believe that um, I should be shut down or I should be penalized or go to jail, then why is it okay to penalize these small business owners that are bar owners as well? In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.